In this chapter, we will learn what is MVP, Model View Projection Matrix, and why it is needed. To understand MVP, let's reverse engineer a few things to better understand the concept. So MVP is a matrix. It's a combined form of three different matrices, which are model matrix, view matrix, and projection matrix. These three matrices are used to transform one coordinate space to another coordinate space. So now we have introduced a new term, coordinate. There are two very important concepts that use coordinate term in it. One is coordinate system. Another is coordinate space. So it's important to understand both these terms because it might be confusing if we don't differentiate between coordinate system and coordinate space. So first we will understand what is coordinate system. Coordinate system is a system that uses one or more numbers or coordinates to define the position of an element, which in most cases for us will be a point. And first coordinate system that we will understand is Cartesian coordinate system. It's a grid-based system. And graph paper is one of the best examples of defining Cartesian coordinate systems in 2D plane, where a position of a point can be defined by the distance of the intersection of axis or perpendicular lines. So this is the intersection point of these perpendicular lines, and each line defines an axis. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis. And the position of a point can be defined by the distance of the intersection of these perpendicular lines. So this is the intersection of the perpendicular lines. And any point in this system can be defined by the distance. So this point is 2 units far in x-axis and 3 units far in y-axis. So this point will be defined as 2, 3. So this is Cartesian coordinate system. And the second coordinate system is homogeneous coordinate system. Homogeneous coordinate system is a system where position of a point can be defined by one or more numbers. And there are certain advantages of homogeneous coordinate system over Cartesian coordinate system. In homogeneous coordinate system, we can define infinite, and a point is represented in projective plane. In homogeneous coordinate system, the position of a point is represented by one extra number than its dimension. What does that mean if we are representing a number in 2D plane? The position of a point will be represented by three numbers because 2d plus 1 is three numbers and if we are representing a position of a point in 3d plane it will be represented by four numbers so 3d plus 1 is equals to 4. some explain it as we add the dimension in homogeneous coordinate system so this extra added number is an extra added dimension in it for calculation in computer graphics, we add a W in homogeneous coordinate system. So our positions are represented as vector 4 values and they are represented as X, Y, Z and W. In most cases, this W value will either be 0 or 1. There is a special case in which this value will be besides 0 or 1. And we will take a look at that special case later. But how we will decide that it should be 0 or 1? This W value will be 0 if we are representing a vector or a normal value. So for vector or normal value, X, Y, Z and 0. But when it will be 1, it will be 1 when we are.